Let's start with first Nodir Beck versus Gukesh on the middle of your screen, left and center. D4, Knight F6, C4 on the board by Nodir Beck. Let's see what Gukesh does. Gukesh always plays E6. Sorry, E6. He will play E6. I think he will. But Gukesh thinking. What is he thinking? Why Gukesh kya khilna hai? E6 khilna. Okay, Knight F3. For sure. For sure, for sure. Yes, D5. Gukesh will go D5. Guys, I'm guessing moves. Knight C3. No, he yes, Bishop B4. Gukesh, of course, Ragoz in. Say Ragoz in on the board. Okay, Queen A4 check. Guys, entire game, I have written it. Oh, CD. CD, ED. CD, ED, Bishop. Oh, Bishop F4. Knight E4, played by Gukesh, pinning the knight. Okay, Rook C1. Rook C1. C5, kya? Oh, Knight C6. Everyone tells, don't put your knight here when you have played D4, D5. But what is Gukesh's idea? Oh, I know what Gukesh wants to do, guys. Gukesh wanted to go G5 here. Okay? But he's played his knight to C6 so that after E3, now he will go G5. This is plan. So, don't play E3. Don't play E3. Don't play E3. Oh, that's why he went knight d2 and now Gukesh went g5, knight e4 on the board, which is a mistake. Mistake has happened from white because the best move here was bishop e3. Taken on e4 and Gukesh is now deep in thought because what is Gukesh thinking? Yeah, he takes. Very good. But Nodirbeck still blitzing out. He takes on e4. Okay, ab4. This looks, this looks complex. Very complex. Knight takes b4, queen a4 check, but then you ask the question, but the knight can go back. But knight can go back, but it cannot be saved. d5, pinned piece is attacked and won. Okay, very cool, very cool. a3, he took here, took here, and now he's thinking. While, oh my goodness gracious me, what the hell is happening in the game of Gukesh versus Abdu Satarov? These two youngsters played an epic game at the Olympiad, which actually determined which country won the gold medal. It went to Uzbekistan in that, but Gukesh here says, look, Abdu Satarov, I am going all out against you. I'm hitting your E F2 pawn. Abdu Satarov takes, Gukesh goes in with a check and Nadir Beck says, I am chala. Bhag main yahan se. I am running to the mountains, to the hills. But Gukesh is like, sorry, Abdu Satarov, your king is not running anywhere. My bishop is stopping you right now, right here, right now. What did Nodirbek play? Knight to b5 played by Nodirbek. Gukesh has played rook d8. Nodirbek doing Nodirbek bleeding time. He has 6 minutes 50 seconds. Gukesh has 9 minutes. Hi, Nadir Beck is not someone you can underestimate. He is, after all, the world rapid champion. He has played his bishop to g2 and he's saying to uh, Gukesh, I want to just kill your knight there. That is the knight which is causing me unbelievable amount of stress. I will kill Queen g5 played. I was actually 100% sure that Gukesh would sack here. But was not to be. He has played queen g5, which is the second best move in the position. Take big mistake by Nadir Beck. He did not play bishop take c6. He actually took on c7. He took on c7, and now king f8 played by Gukesh. D5. Oof. Okay. Okay. Very very exciting game because d5 pawn is a is just threatening nothing. The pawn is pinned. So actually, you can just ignore it. What's the first move that comes to mind? I feel king g7 with the idea of bringing the rook into the game. Oh, but you know, Gukesh is not... Gukesh is not... Oh, he finds queen e7. I was saying Gukesh is not finding this backward move. But he finds it. Now this is hanging. This is hanging. What does Nadir Beg do now? He's in trouble. Oh, mistake happens here by queen e7, knight b5. Gukesh goes in, chops the pawn here and gives a check. Night is hanging. We have 4,000 people watching. Now, what do you do? This is hanging. King is hanging. Knight must come back. Where do you do now? What's the next move? I don't know. 
Everything looks safe. This is what Nadir Beck also thinks. Everything is safe. Gukesh went queen takes b2. Oh, Gukesh had to go rook g8. We were talking about this move, but he takes on b2. King e1. Knight b4. Oh, what's happening? e4. Eight second, eight second, guys. Queen d2. And that would have been a good move. But e4. And now look at this move. Oh my goodness. What a move. What chess level of chess are we seeing? If queen d3, queen c1 is hanging. Okay. Okay. So I take with the pawn. No, but queen f2. Checkmate. It's a checkmate here. <laughs> okay. So he took with the queen. Takes here knight d1. He blocks the check. Okay. Interesting. Now, what's happening? Hmm. BG6. Gukesh is like, I'm an exchange up. I can now play calmly. Maybe I can bring my king rook into the game. Queen d4. Nadir back comes in and attacks Gukesh's rook on h8. King g8 played to defend it. H takes g3 here. Please don't do the exercise. Now, bishop, bishop. Rook, rook. You are exchange up. All you need is this rook to come into the game. And if you can achieve that, you would be better. How do you achieve that? H5, H4. That is how you achieve it. But you have 55 seconds. Nadir Beck has 2 minutes. Mukesh went rookie 8. Knight E3. Oh, he's trading queens. When ahead in material, exchange pieces. But more than exchanging pieces, Gukesh wants his king to come up. So that his rook can come into the game. He has everything for himself. They go. Guk oh, he takes this pawn. Arre yaar. Mujhe laga wo ye marega, ye marega. And then Gukesh will go king here and bring his rook out. But Nadir Beck... This is repeat thing. This is Olympiad repeating, I guess. Gukesh went king g7. Now Nadir Beck defends it this way. Wow. Wow. Nadir Beck defending his e4 pawn and now this is hanging. b5. Okay. Okay, now, now. E5 played by Nadir Beck, getting the advantage. H5. I, I think, guys, one of the death matches that should definitely happen at some point of time is Gukesh versus Nadir Beck. These two guys are insane. Oh, what a move. If you take HG4, Queen F6, Khatam. H Rook gone. Lost. So he can't take it. He can't take it. Queen e7 on the board. 10 seconds for Gukesh. And now Nadir Beck has fought back like anything. What a fighter. What a fighter is Nadir Beck. But can Gukesh fight back? That is the question. He went Queen e7, Rook b6, d6, Queen d4, Knight e3, Queen c5. But this is over. Because after check, King g8, bd5. Yeah, check comes in. What a game this has been. Queen g6 hanging because this Gukesh brings his rook. He's trying to defend anyhow. But look at this move, guys. Rook takes h5. If you take with the rook, queen g6. If you, you can't take with the bishop because of queen h6. Can Nadir Beck find it? I mean, there are many moves that Nadir Beck can win with now. He's just winning totally like rook f4. But this is a special move. And Nadir Beck knows he's winning. You can see that glint in his eyes. He knows that he can win this game. Oh, by Nadir Beck, what a move, what a move, Rook takes h5, he finds it, he finds it, Khatam, takes queen at 6, and with this, although you are still exchange up, your bishop is lost. This bishop is super powerful. What? Gukesh flagged? <laughs> Gukesh. <laughs> can it get any, can anything get more similar than this? First Gukesh plays unbelievably. Gets a winning position. Gets a winning position. And then gets flagged down. And I mean, sorry, then Nodir Beck fights back like crazy, gets a great position. Okay, this is just, I can't believe, I can't believe what I just saw. What a game, what a game.